Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into attribute selectors. So let's jump into the Visual Studio Code to start our discussion. So we are into the Visual Studio Code and I am going to use the same kind of setup which we have used earlier. So in this setup, we are going to use an HTML document which contains various elements. So let's start our discussion on attribute selectors. But prior to understanding the attribute selectors, let's again discuss about tag attributes which we have discussed in our HTML course. If you have gone through my HTML course then there I have discussed in depth about the tag attributes we can recap this tag attribute concept over here so what is tag attributes so basically tag attribute is one of the way by which you can provide additional information about the tags for example here we are having an ID that is a attribute here in the link tag we are having rel href so these are the additional information we are passing to the tags so these are the tag attributes rel is a tag attribute within the link tag id is tag attribute within div tag we are having href in link tag as well so here you will find that the text within the light blue color is called attribute so how we can use the attribute selector to select the element so let's start with the simple example over here if you closely look into this document then you will find that we are having a span tag and where we are using a class called class span and here we are going to select all those tag which is using attribute called class to apply the CSS rule so how we can do that let's look into that so here we are telling that a span and we want to select the attribute called class and here we will tell that what rule we are going to apply and we are going to tell that the color of this element whoever is having class span it should display the text in red save it and run it but prior to running let's look into this so here it will select the three tags over here because they are using class attribute but the above one it will not select because it is not containing any kind of attribute called class so let's run it to so select this document press f1 select the first option open in browser so here you will find that it displayed the content red for the span tag which is containing the class attribute now let's jump into the visual studio code to see the other example as well now suppose we want to select to all the divs which is having an ID so how we can do that is the same way you should follow the pattern we are going to select div and the attribute we are going to target is the ID and we are telling that background color we can tell that aqua save it let's go to the browser so here you will find that so it has given the background color for these two div which is containing the ID let's verify it so indeed it is containing the ID the first div is the header ID and the second one is the main content and you will also find that another div which is nested within that it contains also the ID so let's look into that so see here so it is giving the background color aqua whichever the div is having an ID so now let's proceed further so now what we will do we are going to select the anchor tag with a title attribute and then we will do the formatting or say apply the style over here so here we are having an anchor tag and we are telling that whichever anchor tag is having the title color should be green so let me add another tag as well so that we can have a complete example and here what we are going to tell that we are not having title for this just copy paste it and we will remove this this one the title over here and we will tell that to my site so save it let's jump into the browser so see here all the tag anchor tag which is having a title which is displaying in green and this tag which we have introduced now which is not containing the title so that the reason it is not applying the color green on this anchor tag now let's proceed further now suppose if you are having a requirement where we want to apply the style to only those tag which contains title called Facebook so how we can do this so it is also very much straightforward so here we are telling that title attribute is equal to Facebook and I want the color should be brown and font weight should be bold save it let's jump into the browser so here you will find that the Facebook is displaying in brown color with a bold font so let's proceed further one thing I tell about attribute selector is that attribute selector is very handy tool or we can say that it is very handy selector if nothing works you can use attribute selector to select any specific elements by comparing like this now let's proceed further now suppose a situation and if you want to apply the style for multiple classes and you want to select those for example there is another class called CLS2 just for an example 
and if you try to select this class which is having class span then what will happen and here suppose if you are telling that class equal to I want to select class span and apply this formatting so what will happen that in this scenario the first this span class will not be selected as it is not matching the pattern which we are providing over here let's confirm it so see here dummy content with css class 1 is not taking the formatting or say not taking the style over here as it is not matching but how we can make sure that that class is also being selected as it contains the class span so here we will take the help of pattern matching with the help of tilde sign so we can use the tilde sign over here save it now go into the browser so here you will find that it has selected that class as well and applied the formatting or say apply the style over here so why is it so let's understand it this is because this is a pattern matching and it is telling that wherever you are having a class span that you can select and apply this CSS rule now let's proceed further and let's look into the another pattern which we will use along with attribute selector so let's understand the scenario suppose if we are having a three hyperlinks over here with a different domain one is for .org, another one is for .com and another one is for .net and I want all the .com ending sites will display in different color all the .org ending sites display in other color and all the .net site will have different formatting or say different color so how we can use attribute selectors to design such complex scenarios so let's do it so first we will target the href attribute and here we are seeing that the url is having .org .com and .net so we can easily check the pattern for .com .org and .net within the attribute and then we can apply the style so let's do it so here we are going to tell that we are going to use anchor tag and we are going to select the attribute href and we are telling that we want to check it is ending with com so for that we are going to use the dollar shine and then we will tell that the color color is going to be blue for that we can copy the same thing for dot org and here we will specify that we want for org we are going to use purple so let's do it and here we can tell that it should be ending with org so again paste it and this time we are going to tell that dot net must be ending with net and we are going to display with page you can also tell that display should be block element so that it will show as a stack so display display block save it and let's jump into the browser so here you can see that all the dot com site is displaying in blue color dot org site it is displaying in purple and dot net site is displaying in peru color let's make some replica of dot net and dot org so that it will confirm so here we are going to tell that we are going to create some replica of dot org so let's do it we can tell that ample one example two. do the same thing for dot net as well so here dot net side we will tell that three four save it let's jump into the browser so here you will find that it is applying the style to all those elements which is ending with dot org and it is styling with purple color and the blue is coming for the dot com site and for dot net it is giving us the peru color so let's jump into the visual studio code so here we understand that how we can use the pattern matching for attribute selectors so i hope you enjoyed the session so i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye Take care.